Listen up folks, let me tell you a story about one of my early videos where I rambled on about Nvidia's RBAR setting and how it could save you from the horrors of stuttering in Microsoft Flight Simulator. But then, out of nowhere, a viewer swooped in and said my testing method was as trustworthy as a politician's promise. And you know what? The guy was right! So, I had to make some changes, and I'm not just talking about switching to decaf. So stay tuned, because here's what's new and improved. Welcome to Nocturnal Simulations, where every week we bring you 90 seconds of tech tips, helping you maximize graphics and performance within Microsoft Flight Simulator ensuring a smooth and stutter-free experience at a whole new level. Today's topic will be how to unlock the secret to Microsoft Flight Simulator performance. If you're enjoying these episodes, please like and subscribe below. Okay, let's talk about cap framings. The tool that can make your gaming performance metrics so clear that even your grandma can understand them. Assuming your grandmother is a hardcore gamer. If you've ever wondered what frame times, FPS, median percentiles, X percent low mean, don't worry, you're not alone. These terms are like a foreign language to most people, except for those nerdy benchmark enthusiasts who speak it fluently. But fear not, with Gap FrameX, you don't have to be a language expert to understand these metrics. The tool measures the time intervals between individual game frames, aka frame times, and then converts them into FPS values so you can see how well your game is performing. First off, check out my previous week's video about how to create a benchmark. You'll need the data from various benchmarks so that you can visualize and decipher if your setting changes made a meaningful difference or not. We'll keep it basic for now and focus on the analysis and comparison tab within Gap FrameX. What I have here are three benchmarks where I changed the level of detail setting. If you look at these individually, you'll see quite a few metrics and some nice looking charts. These graphics give you an enormous amount of information you can utilize to min-max your settings. Here are my top three statistics I typically look at when making changes. 1. Average frames per second. This is basically my average FPS over the 20 second benchmark. It gives me a smooth, high level overview and an easy to compare number to the overall performance. 2. Stuttering. This is a huge one and often debated about. Up until now, if you've only been using the in-game developer tool showing you FPS, it can be hard to follow in real time. This gives you values for which you can compare how much time your machine spent in a stutter versus running smoothly or in a low FPS environment. And three, variances. This shows you the time differences between two consecutive frame time values and is a good way to visualize how long the stutters actually work. After I look at those results, I move over to the comparison tab. This is great for visualizing the effects of your modifications. The bar charts are easy to read, but the line charts and variances tabs are my favorite. On the line charts, you can see how the frame time increased, aka stutter or delay, and assuming your benchmark lined up perfectly, you can see if all of them had an issue in the same spot or if one setting created more or less issues in another. And finally, for the variances tab, it's an awesome representation of the time differences between two consecutive frame time values and an excellent visualization of the data showing you if you spent more or less time in a stuttering scenario. And there you have it. This is what I typically review when making graphic setting changes within Microsoft Flight Simulator when trying to min-max my performance. I know this is a lot and really fast, so if you have questions, let me know in the comments below. There are 100 more things that Cap FrameX offers, so look for some of those in future videos also. So, if you want to impress your friends with your gaming performance knowledge, or just want to see how well your PC is performing, give Cap FrameX a try, and who knows, maybe your grandma will start speaking the benchmark language too. Happy flying!